Really? What's happening for them? You know, sometimes you look at what animals do and you're just amazed. Like, look at this ibex here. Now, this guy has figured out a really clever way to use his horns. I mean... What else are you gonna do with them? You know, Dodge Ram should totally use this ass-scratching goat here as their new mascot. No, but after he's done doing all that, it's typical for a male Ibex to gather with the other males and say something along the lines of, <laughs> Come here, guys, check it out. Smell my horn. You know, sometimes you look at what humans do, and you're not amazed at all, but rather creeped out. Especially when some of them invent things like this creepy robotic mouth. <laughs> That thing haunts me in my sleep. <laughs> you got a purty mouth. No, no, I'm sure this thing was invented for a good cause, but look at it. It looks like it's about to vomit up motor oil any minute now. And why in the hell does it sound like T-Pain? <laughs> Seriously? No, but Skynet called. Now, half of you are probably like me and you're creeped out, and the other half of you are probably all excited and you want to hump it or something. Hey, you know, no judgment here. But I can't help but wonder, why did this creepy-ass video go viral? What in the hell was this thing invented for? And, you know, do they make it in a female version? You know, sometimes you look at what humans do and you're not amazed, but rather entertained. Like I am when I watch this guy at Coachella, who appears to be a little intoxicated. I know, dude, it sucks when your own flippy floppies aren't cooperating. Now, come on, dude, we can do this. We can get those flip flops on. Let's try it again. Oh now, come on now, dude, you got this. Don't give up. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Yes. Uh, oh, we got it. Yes. Oh, oh, f damn it. How do you get owned by your own damn shoes? Well, I admit this guy's balance is way off, so I'm guessing he has an inner ear infection of some sort. No, the greatest part of this video is that he clearly isn't too wasted to stop and hit on chicks. Now, I can't hear what the guy's saying, but I'm pretty sure he's all like, Hey, baby, I just pissed myself and I can't remember my middle name, but I'm sober enough to notice that you sure do have one hell of a purty robot mouth. <laughs> <laughs> gross. But you know what's never gross? The comment question of the day, which comes from a user named Ms. Butterworth, and she says, So, if you just killed someone, what would you do with the body, and where would you hide it? It's not like a suspicious question or anything, right? So, if you just killed someone, what would you do with the body? Leave your interesting or creative responses in the comments section below. <laughs> but thanks for watching today's episode of Equals 3. I'm Ray William Johnson. And I approve this message. All right, real quick, guys, I did a totally amazing, awesome video with Julian Smith. I'll put it up here. Bing! Uh, you click on it. It's a link. It's YouTube's awesome. It works like that. And uh, go check it out. It's funny. And if you like Julian's work, be sure to subscribe because he's one of the best on YouTube for sure. And I'll see you guys in a few days. So tell me, Forum, what happened to you? Stalking your mom. Stalk, stalk, stalking your, stalking your mom. Stalk, stalking your mom. Stalking your mom. Stalk, stalk, stalking your, stalking your mom. Stalking your mom, stalking your mom, stalk, stalk, stalking your, stalking your mom, stalk, stalking your mom, stalking your mom, stalk, stalk, stalking your, stalking your mom, stalking your mom. I've been stalking your mom for like two years straight. I'm way too shy to ask her out on a date, so I just wait in your neighbor's lawn with my camera ready and my camouflage on, and I know that I'll get plenty pics when she leaves for work.